So now I'm going to make a chain using these loops. First one I'm going to show you is with the normal loop and then we'll do one with wrapped loops just to show you the difference. On its own now, so same as before, you make the loop. Now the length of the wire that you pick, I did uh, an inch and a bit because I wanted to use a longer length bead, whereas on the shorter one I obviously used a shorter bit of wire. Now I'm probably not going to need that much just there so I'll just trim that a little bit, making sure that the flush side is the side that will be connecting with the other side of the wire. And again, twist. Now, because these loops are open, and it, like a jump ring, you open north to south, never east to west. And I can just connect them and then close. And I can do this for as long as I want, making it into a rosary chain. Now what's different with a wrapped loop is of course this doesn't open. So what the, I then need to do is I'll just open this and attach this one. Close it. And now I'm going to add another bead. Uh, because I need to do a wrap loop, I need a little bit more than the one centimetre I'd normally use. So I'm going to do the half turn there. Take my pliers in, form the loop. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go with my pliers, so obviously you can see, and I'm going to do a wrapped loop. Sorry, taking that out of camera. And just do a wrap loop did you okay so now because we've done a wrapped loop obviously we can't just open it so what we need to do is start to create another loop again a little bit more than a centimeter for a wrapped loop do that and we're going to actually attach that before we finish the loop going to hold this in place and we're going to finish wrapping like normal that'd help if that stayed in place let's try it from this angle Again, when you're doing this, you're going to be doing it, well, comfortably and close to your face so you'll be able to see it clearly and work in a natural position. Again, flush cut it as close to it as you can. And now I'm going to add a bead. Um, I might go for one a little bit longer because I'll put a little bit extra on here. Okay, there we go. So again, turn it sideways, start my loop, take my flat nose pliers in and wrap. Just 
just going to move it. Uh, and there you go. So we just wrap it as normal. Just going to switch pliers because obviously the round ones allow for it to wiggle and we don't want that. Sorry, I've put my hands in the way, I just need to get in here. Okay, and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to flush cut it again. And make sure it goes down. So it's not going to cut me on. So there we have the makings of a chain and like I say with a wrap with a, a closed loop unlike an open loop where you can just open them and connect them that way you have to actually make the loop with putting that inside so I'll do one more just to make sure that you definitely know so I'll put that down I'll cut a length about an inch and a half I'll uh, make a half of a loop, connect it, finish the loop, okay hold it with the pliers okay I'm just going to do this with my fingers for the angle that I'm at it's just a little bit easier Finish that wrap loop, put another bead on, and again, finish it with another wrap loop. Okay, and I'm just going to finish this with my pliers. Pulling it in tighter so the loop isn't loose. There we go. Then I'm just going to flush cut that bit there again. As close as I can get. Be careful of bits of wire flinging off. Wear goggles if you need to. Uh, and there we have a rosary chain with either an open loop or a wrapped loop. If you're using a thinner gauge, uh, I wouldn't go below a, a 0.6 millimeter, uh, and I would definitely use a wrap loop for that. At 0.8, they do it does have the strength, but I probably wouldn't go below a, a one millimeter for an open loop. I'd probably still use a wrap loop personally. Uh, so there you have it, a rosary chain.